Armstrong and Aldrin bring back precious samples from the moon that are immediately sealed away in airtight vaults. The first pieces of another world. I was a scientist at the U.S. Geological Survey at the time, one of those chosen to study the samples, and it's, gosh, it's 30 years ago now, but I can remember the excitement of coming here and getting our uh, bits of material. When the rocks first came back, it was really amazing because the rocks Neil Armstrong picked up turned out to be basalts, and the ages of those weren't a few thousand or hundreds of thousands of years, but were 3.7 billion years old older than virtually all rocks we'd found on the Earth at that time. Basalts like this are made from cooling lava, the holes from bubbles of escaping gas. On Earth, the salts are relatively young, as the planet's surface is constantly reshaped, erasing eons of geological history. But the age of the lunar basalts suggests that any volcanic activity on the moon ceased billions of years ago after oceans of lava hardened, forming dark areas called maria, or seas. These rocks, before the astronauts picked them up, had lain virtually unchanged for nearly four billion years. Geologists are anxious for more and different samples. Even before Apollo 11, they had lobbied NASA to send a bona fide scientist to the moon. <laughs> 